going on party people chris haskins here with the realestateroundup.com we're here today another training i'm so happy to be able to talk to you and bring forth content that will brighten up and open up and expand your mind for your real estate investing world and today i'm hanging out with ron brown what's up brother how's it going ron brown and i are doing a joint venture we are getting ready well we already bought the house but i want to talk to you today's training is going to be on using private money and Ron has always talked to me about how he's used hard money in the past and today's training is not going to be about that we're talking about private money what is private money that's when you use ordinary people like you and I your family members friends to actually ultimately finance your real estate transactions <clears throat> we kind of straight away from using banks about seven years ago and it really opened up my world and my eyes to so much opportunity. So let's talk to Ron about this is going to be his second deal we've done using private money. And first of all, Ron, tell me about your feelings on using hard money, which you've used in the past. Hard money is um, expensive money. You have to pay points up front. What do you mean by points? So points is like uh, percentage points of the money that you're borrowing up front. So in the past, I paid between three to five points up front wow. to even uh, to borrow the money. Okay. So with private money, there's no points up front. So that's a big advantage of using private money over hard money. It's less expensive money just for one. And what is can be a real quick example of an experience of your experiences and before we move forward I want to let you know they were on the way to the title company to sign for a thirty thousand dollar check that just came in from not from a bank but just from an, another private source it's not private private funding source this was actually some retirement money so we're riding to the title company to sign for those checks tell me what yeah give me one or two bad one or two drawbacks of using hard money Ron. Other, you'll see, you said the points. So with hard money, one drawback is the points. Also is um, having to do the construction draws. You have to do the work, pay for the work, submit receipts from the construction draws to the private, to the hard money lender. Okay. And it's up to his discretion to approve those construction draws. Wow. So have to take pictures. They may come to the property to look at the progress of the construction work and they may say hey um, we approve you for twelve thousand for this side and you want fourteen so uh -huh. your twelve thousand I guess not too good it has to come out of your pocket at two grand so gotcha you have to be strictly your numbers have to be close so there's not a lot of book rooms and mistakes gotcha. that comes up to when it comes to hard money. Alright so today we're using private money wipe my screen on here what do you like best about using private money, brother? Ron? The ease of private money is um, there's not a lot of stress. <clears throat> it's, you know, it's less stressful. Let's just say that. With hard money, you have a six-month loan, so you have to rush. You want to get it done as quickly as possible anyway. But with, with, with hard money, you just, it's just a six-month loan. And then, hard money guys and come back at that leisure at that six month period if you're not done to take the house back. Wow. So with private money, you know, uh, we've been on this deal for about a month or so now. Oh, yeah. yeah, we have to get permits and do plans and get soil surveys and things like that. So with hard money, <laughs> you could not, you could not explore that option because but you, you have five months. You have five months left and our project is going to take at least three to build. Yeah. So, you know, it's just it's less stressful. You know, you're not under the gun to get the job. You want to get it done as fast as possible anyway. At the same time, it's, it's not as stressful to use that money, the private money. So that's my main my main thing, I would say, is it's less stressful money. Gotcha, gotcha. We, the one thing we need is less stress, right, brother? We're getting older, we need as less stress as possible. Good God, yeah. So, private money. We're on the way to the title company now just to sign for the check. It came in, 30 grand. But the main thing today is get out there. I want you to know that if you don't believe it, it'll never work for you. There's more money out there than you could ever borrow. And people with the money want to lend it more than you need to borrow it. People with money have to get it working because they have cash sitting 
waited to get it out there in the marketplace to get a return, okay? So just remember, when you're looking for a, a lender, they're also looking for a savvy borrower. And I'm not and I'm not gonna talk about it in this video, but how do we become a savvy borrower? That's what I want you to, to focus on. All right, Ron, anything else about using our private money? George right here. Nope, private money is the way to go. Just talk to people, people who you think may not have money, may actually have money. That's so you great. have to talk to people and you never know. So you never know. You never know. Private money is the way to go and hard money, use it as less as possible. <laughs> My recommendation. I can on another video I can probably tell you some stories. So Good I, God almighty. On hard money, so private drop, money is the way to go. You wanna drop a story real quick, Ron, or what? Let's give it to him next time. Alright, we'll give you a horror story. Is it a horror story or a break over there? It's a horror story. <laughs> horror stories. The horror stories. All right, we're going into the title company now, and let me show you the checks so you can believe. Hmm? You're walking in here to get me after you, my brother. Thank you, sir. Do, 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 do. We are here at American Escrow and Title. They process a bunch of our transactions. This seems to be investor friendly, I would think. We hot on the recording, G. G. Hey. <laughs> this is good stuff here. All right, we're here at the title company, and Ron's getting ready to sign. Let's see what we got. One for. What is that? Ten thousand. Another one for twenty thousand. So we got thirty. All right, my brother Ron. All right. So we get this is just money we use to fund our real estate projects. This is not money we can spend on consumable goods. Which property is this? Six O. All right, Ron. So how easy was that just to borrow thirty grand? It was easy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> bought you the, bought the deal and the uh, sand check. Something good. Like that. Sounds good. All right, guys, get out there, get some private money, make it work for you. Chris Haskins. We'll see you next time.